Hello, and welcome to the first match of League Season 38 for anyone. Psychomatic and I are being proactive. And ooh, the 5 2 here. Well, it's, okay, these two remedy it somewhat. And potentially, I guess, Stonemason, though. That's not as good. Well, maybe you do do the Stonemason. Anyway. 5-2 is not great, but it's workable here. There aren't any fives you want to open with, which is the bad part. Otherwise, it would be great because there's decent twos. Um, so it would be great in that instance, but of course that would just be a different board. Um, the... Uh, It's going to be messy. I mean, you can't build, really. And there's lots of alt VP. So the game could drag on, potentially, with mess. Um, Hermit gaining silvers is, of course... I mean, like, Hermit gaining silvers and merchants is, is good here. Um, probably mostly just silvers themselves. But I wouldn't be mad if someone took a, a merchant. Um... I mean, the only kind of engine-y thing you could try for is, like, Madman stuff, right? But I don't... I mean... It's not like you get some super big thing on the turn you draw your deck. You could... The only payload that would be explosive in that sense would be Stone Mason, and you're just not going to get the stuff to fuel it. Um... <clears throat> I have to decide... I could put I could put four terminals into my deck by turn two. Um, I mean, courtyard collision is not as much of an issue. Crossroads is an option, but I will be trashing the estates. Um. Swindler is actually not as harmful here because, like, the threes you would give them are, you're going to trash the other stuff. You're going to be able to trash the curses. Um, and then if you hit a three, well, they're going to be at least satisfied with whatever you turn it into. It's not going to kill them. So it's not that good. I'm thinking I just stone mason double hermit and not bother with uh, um, with the crossroads or the. I mean, on the other hand, if you green, I mean, if you go to adding other green into your deck pretty soon, then the crossroads can be okay. So maybe the crossroads is fine. I don't think there's a lot. So he gets a steward. He is going to try and thin, I guess. I mean, the thing you would thin to would be merchant, I guess. Um, but that doesn't... This is a pretty good draw for me. I mean, I could start on the Humble Castles already, <laughs> I guess. It, I mean, it's not like bad. It's not that bad for the deck I'm envisioning. It's not that good, but... I mean, the other option is like silver. <clears throat> Swindler, I guess the thing that Swindler hurts the most is potentially your VP. Um, it could hurt Duchy Duke, but only if they play a lot of them. It's not that likely to really kill you until the piles look, are gone. So, it, yeah, that's not... And it can, of course, m goof with the castles, but not the first few. Once you get up to the expensive ones, it could be an issue, but again, that would just be like a 
more of a getting lucky thing than anything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> this is a really nice draw, particularly if I find the other hermit. I'm still not a big believer in this steward, to be honest. But maybe... They've got something in mind. I'm almost honestly just taking the castles because I don't think there's like that good of building to be done. And they're fine if I end up doing Duchy Duke, all of them basically. I mean the f the next one isn't that good, but the like literally every single other one is just like pretty much good within Duchy Duke. Um, so he gets crumbling, which seems totally reasonable to me. Um, and he'll be able to get the small one if he wants it. But he may just trash, and then if he trashes, I don't know if he'll still have, I guess he's still pretty likely to have five. But he could have drawn a hermit, so I don't know if he ever got a silver. Well, he must have one because of the crumbling. Um, <clears throat> so he could have five in hand. I mean, more and more I'm thinking Dutchy Duke. I don't feel any particular compulsion to take this small castle, although it's okay. He's just doing all this building stuff, which I, I honestly do not really believe in. Triggering this is okay. Maybe a little better than okay. Now the question is, do I want... I will trash an estate, so I think I just play on to draw more and not worry about getting the hermit gain into the shuffle. <coughs> it's not... Uh, 100% clear to me, but it seems reasonable in any case. Now, I don't know what I'm a little unsure about is whether the thing to go for are these castles. Obviously, small castle is like not a really nice one as far as the rest of the pile is concerned. Um, but I think I like duchies. I mean, if he can make an engine work, I'll be impressed. This was a nice starting hand for him. I mean, he's not necessarily doing engine at this point. He just has stuff, which is not quite the same thing. You can't even stonemason for this and another five or something cute like that. Does he still have a hermit? He must. I have one. He must still have two. think. I don't know. If 
the Duchy Duke thing is close, then the Swindlers matter more. If it's not, then they don't. I might trying to think where my terminal's sitting at. I might want to put a swindler in. He buys a merchant. Um, I guess this is a deck. Oh, I have two hermits. Oh, right, because I... Right, right. Okay. Makes sense. Um... Yeah, maybe next shuffle we can pick up a swindler or two. But for now I'm gonna go with this. <coughs> so far, good shuffles for me for sure. Um, he believes in the, this is even okay most likely, it's just a question of whether the crossroad bomb deck, I mean, and possibly I just don't play it anyway and just play single hermit I'm going to beat a four duchies the nice thing about the way it's gone down so far is that this is actually okay um, the nice thing about the way it's gone down so far is that Piles are also kind of lowering, so if I do get the duchies and the dukes, then I can <coughs> um, might have a three pile. Okay, so he's getting that. Like we could do hermits potentially or whatever. I probably don't want the stonemason, right? It's not actually totally clear that I want to replace this to me, but it should be okay. Hopefully draw money. He's going to run into this stuff. He has too many crossroads, but... I mean, it would be better for him to just have a thin deck... Well, if he's going to do it go into the duchies, it's not as clear. Um, maybe this is an okay amount of crossroads, I'm not sure. Mm, so that does hurt. At least some. That hurts a ton. <laughs> this is just unlikely. He could dud, but it's not that likely it does look like he probably did unless he found his silver um, I could get another crossroads <coughs> may go silver swindler though he gets another crossroads um, this was really, st I mean, I don't think I can miss again, but it's 
probably not impossible. Um, I'm not going to play the madman. I don't need it. There's not really any advantage to playing it. So, did he get a swimmer at some point, or do I just have three now? I just have three. That's okay. So I'm going to get the fifth duchy, which is really good. This deck is just more fragile, I think, than mine. Um, I still won't play the Madman. I don't need it. Unless I wanted to get... Um, province, but... I don't think I do. I mean, the, the main upside of playing Madman would be that I would be able to, you know, maybe Swindler and play Hermit, something like that. But other than that, I don't really have, like, extra gains. So it doesn't do that much for me. He may be able to get use out of the stonemason here. I don't know. He doesn't have like a six. so. But like trashing the small castle is okay. Not the small castle, whatever, the crumbling. It's not bad anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to end up hitting a hand that has like three swindlers in it. <laughs> I feel okay about my position. Things could go a few different ways. I'm really not too torn up about the copper trash, giving him a copper trash. Now the question is, do I want the haunted castle? Um, I guess the bad thing about giving him a stonemason is that he can get a haunted castle and then do stuff with that potentially I could deny it here um, I don't really care if he gets the seven castle right he doesn't even I don't even know if he has seven dollars I mean he's got one two three four five six I mean he does have seven dollars but Oh, I forgot I had two madmen. <clears throat> I did trash my stonemason, but whatever. I can get another one. <laughs> I... <laughs> this was this was pretty unfortunate. So it was pretty, pretty stinking unfortunate, to be honest. Now 
Now, I'm the only one with a madman, so I'm... I can do better with a nine castle than he can. For sure. Um... Maybe these should just be estates. This is a, such a rotten draw for me. Because I can actually do some damage to his deck. With the... Uh, like I can give him two point dukes. I can... I have good stuff to hit. He doesn't as much, but... Um, He doesn't have a madman anymore. The I think I am gonna give him the stone mason again. I don't know. That's correct. That was such a rotten draw. To have pulled the madman and then to have the three swindlers go together. Um, he's going to be able to afford this one if he wants it. <coughs> it's worth... He's still small. I guess he's going to be able to get both of them. No, he, he's not going to have $9 if he... I don't believe. Well, he's got two silvers now. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he is going to have enough, right? Yeah, he's going to have enough to do small for both. So that's going to be a lot of points. And I didn't draw my madman here to get king, which king for me would be decent. But yeah, he's going to have nine bucks. He's going to be able to do both of them. I probably should not have lowered the castles. That was probably my big mistake. Not when he had small. I kind of had forgotten about it. Um, and he just has exact money, I think. Oh, he didn't have the money. Okay. That's interesting. I'm getting really, to be honest, this shuffle was quite bad. Um, and I'm not even sure that I blame myself for it. To be frank. Um, I could have got a stone mason also. Maybe I should try the stone mason. I mean, there's like... It's bad, but there's like some non-zero chance of it being really good. <laughs> if I pair it with the madman. <laughs> um, and a gold. <laughs> or, the, or the haunted castle. We're getting close to piles now also. <clears throat> his hands oh he does have opulent so he can probably green that way but his small is gone now right yeah <clears throat> he may trash his silver for Couple crossroads or something. Maybe he has a pile out. No, I don't. I don't believe he'll have the actions for a pile out. <coughs> the only good thing about this is that he's going to have to discard a decent amount of green to buy that, so he doesn't. Obviously, he's still got quite a few points from it, but. Um, this is not what I want to hit, because <clears throat> I think I want that in his deck. So basically, I, 
I mean, don't, I don't think I want to give him anything else. I guess a silver. No, silver is probably better than steward. That's not actually clear. If I can hit any of his castles, that would be phenomenal. Well, not the eight, but the, if I could hit this last one, that would be great. Um, my Swindler hits have been hot garbage uh, for the most part. One of these times you would hope he'd get a hand without the crossroads, but I guess he has so many of them that's not terribly likely. I keep waiting for the turn where he just has this stuff that lets him finish. Yeah, like there, maybe it should have been a silver. It's really not clear to me. Because he's, he's action limited, but obviously if he has excess actions, then the cards might be better um, than the money. I just don't know how often that happens for him. Ooh, he got to even do that thing. That's obnoxious. He may do he may stow Mason overpay. Maybe I, maybe all these times I give him stow Mason, it should have just been estate, <laughs> probably, or additional crossroads, maybe I don't know, or courtyards. Yeah, I figure he'd just lower here. I mean, if he can get... I'm just not getting... I think I had subpar draws here. Obviously, he's playing something, though, that gives you a lot more... Um, a lot more upside when you get the draws. And I think I probably made poor Swindler choices. He never had a Hermit, so... Or not never, but he didn't have a Hermit, so when I gave him the Stonemason... Well, he could have at any point, like, Stonemason overpaid for Crossroads, though, so... That's not so clear. Um... I have to like, I like to have to have Madman top deck so that I can both uh, stone mason a gold and um, you know buy King's Castle or something like that. Something where I take a points lead while. Um, know getting into position to have some sort of threat but I assume well he doesn't have yeah he does have his stonemason right so he could have now I'm confused I thought he had excess actions he had action maybe he needed the money I mean if I have I don't know if there's a hit that takes enough points away from him. Even if I have a madman on top. 
I mean, I guess I can just go ahead of him. No, I don't have enough points. Yeah, I needed, I needed the madman because I needed to be able to buy the the duke as well. It just doesn't work unless he has a handful of green. I needed the madman. Otherwise, I had a shot of actually just straight up winning right then. If I had had the madman in hand, he would have lost because I would have been able to pile and pass him in points. Um, that's kind of frustrating because I, I think what I did is better. I don't know that I made the right choices everywhere. But I think what I did is better than what he did. On average. I was lucky there, of course, to have the gold top deck to even make the score close. But it was not out of the question for me to have made a big, big score during the course of that shuffle. I have a 5-2 again. This time it doesn't matter so much because there's um, Baker. The, uh, um, but I guess I can look at the board. There's no villages. Enchantress isn't a huge deal because you have lots of cantrips. Um, but it might be nice just to, to have the bigger hand size. Other than that, I guess you just vampire a lot. It's not clear to me that you need to open with the Enchantress. You may save the token to increase your chances of hitting five again. I think I'm going to save it. I don't feel like I need to buy an Enchantress. I'll, I'll get $3 hands later on. Anyway, I think you go with two or three vampires, and then you just... You might get a fair at some point. But other than that, you get, like, bakers and artificers, and you just have tons of tokens, I guess. Greed is fairly nice. I have to think about whether I want to sewers or just go ahead and get this other enchantress now. That was okay. That was probably pretty friendly, actually. <clears throat> well, at least neutral-ish. If not just straight-up friendly. Um... I wouldn't be mad at someone who got an artificer first. I mean, that would be fine. <coughs> um, I have to think about sewers. I mean, the thing is, well, you don't draw, so you're kind of at the whims of playing the bats whenever. I guess it's pretty easy to fuel the bats later on. If you if you need feel the need to do that, this is okay, I guess. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> he gets a second vampire. I should be able to get a second vampire here. Um, this will be. I want to trash all of these, so. What? No. Sorry. I thought I hit the coffers. 
I'm dumb. War is okay. I guess. I mean, this shuffle is going to be a little wonky. Hopefully we... I'll probably just buy another Enchantress, like, no matter what. Diluted doesn't really matter. This was a great draw. Um, this was a really good draw for me. I didn't find the Enchantress, which is a bit of a bummer, but, um, and I'm not going to buy Fair yet. There's really no rush to doing that. I am going to... Take one artificer. Not sure. He's going to play Enchantress this time, so I don't know what I'm going to cantrip. Obviously, there's a chance I draw the other Enchantress. That hurts a little bit. That makes me want to cantrip, not enchantress. <laughs> um, though probably my next card will be the... This was a bit sad, but it's okay. It's not a huge deal. know that I'm going to have money for buys. It wouldn't be unreasonable for me to get gold at some point. Um... A gold or two. Locus already came and went, so that could... He doesn't have a second enchantress. That's good. Um, he's not as thin as me. That's good. He's getting it here, though. <clears throat> or at least some. Okay. I wish Tomb was on the board, then you could. Um, I mean, I'm just going to have a little bit of overdraw. can live with that. This is going to be a gold for me. I keep thinking, <laughs> for some reason, I keep thinking this is going to work differently than it does. Maybe it's, it's fine. I'm pretty far ahead. 
I think. I don't know, maybe not pretty far, but I think I'm ahead. I can finish the bakers this turn. Or he has his vampires now. Okay. He's got. Um, well, I can still finish the bakers this turn, of course. So he opted to re. Well, he may not have had it in hand. I don't think he had drawn everything. He still didn't play Enchantress. Okay. Obviously not my choice, but um, yeah, I'm not getting much out of this artificer, and I'm also overdrawing a little bit. But I mean, you probably want to overdraw by one here, right? You probably want to make sure you get everything, and plus there's some discard attacks and stuff, so that's probably correct-ish. Um. This could be double baker gold. Um. Or it could be can't be double baker gold <laughs> but it can be something um <clears throat> he already has five bakers okay that's something um i mean if it's gonna be double baker i don't need to save a copper really Wait, it can be double baker gold. <laughs> I'm not very good at counting, to be honest. Toss three bakers. Okay. So I'm all out of tokens, but I have two golds, which should be pretty good. And now we just can gain artificers while... I don't know, do we eat green yet? He gets his second enchantress now. Um, this is fine can draw one of them which is all I really need to do he's getting artificer oh I can't draw any of them I miss I miscounted my money sitch maybe I should have kept one of them no well, if I kept one of them, then I just don't, it just doesn't work the same, <laughs> to be honest. Um, Give him miserable, which is actually quite useful here. I mean, not I, I mean, not that it's useless in general, but I just think it's nice to have the tiebreaker here. I'm not sure if I actually run the 
artificers all the way down or if we get a third goal or not it's not unreasonable to trash one of the probably probably while their artificers left it's better to to keep them um he's a little bit ahead on tokens but like he has no cash right He just has the silver. So if he buys stuff, he has to spend it all. If there had been Tomb here, we would have had some more uh, various plays to make. But, um. Unfortunately, to play this correctly, I think you have to figure out your graining a little bit in advance. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that correctly. Uh, as an alternative to doing that, you can just, uh, you know, keep buying artificers. <laughs> He's going to get a gold, yeah. Um, I'm getting hit by this stuff. Now, this time I don't think it will <coughs> quite get me. But the discard attacks are definitely the thing here. Um... I love when it just randomly shifts back to pig. I don't know why it does that. Um. <clears throat> Ow. What did he do? He got a gold and an artificer. Yeah, that's fine. Um... It's not like a pile. Now, do I want the bats? I probably am okay with it for another time. It's not actually clear, right? Because the he probably empties the artificers. Like we're probably definitely just greening here. <coughs> Doing that, I could have gone for another gold. Wouldn't have been crazy. But. Ow. Fairgrounds doesn't work very well here. You have one, two, three, four, potentially five. Like six, seven. I mean, you can do it once you've greened a little bit, but it won't be a super incredible buy ever. I mean, you can get it to 10 if you have the silver and copper and gold and you have a duchy in province, but even then it's hard to keep everything around that you need to get there. Unless you just go to complete muck, you know, for your, for your deck. Um, yeah, that's fine. So my hope here is that I 
I guess I don't know. Now I wish I had the bat, right? Yeah. Someone's going to fail to draw their enchantress <laughs> at some point. Is what's going to happen that's going to be really bad for someone. <laughs> Now I wish I had my uh, bat for sure for one more turn. I can double province kind of easily without really risking my threat of doubling later on. Though at the same time, what does doubling do for me now? I can province gold. Though that's envious, sort of risky. I can province buy a second enchantress, or a third enchantress, I mean. I just have a floating enchantress, but. No one's going to have triple, right? I can certainly double more than once. So he can probably not double more than once, but maybe. What do you have? One, two, three, four. He had six dollars. Plus some more. So if I go province artificer here, save all the tokens. I'm never gonna triple because you don't get the hand the hand size doesn't get big enough to do that. Um I guess I can trip you can triple if you gain a tragic hero during the middle of your turn. That's a little hard. I guess you can just buy one and have threat on triple. but maybe that's for another day. So if I go one now. The other thing, well, he's going to have the vampires, though. So I mean, if I get a discard attack here, it's okay. Um... Diluted sucks. Diluted really sucks. <clears throat> I'm, I'm almost thinking that maybe the line where I He didn't quite draw everything. If he doubles, I can just single. I'm going to need to keep my eye up open for gaining enchantress mid-turn unless I draw it into hand here at the start I guess he can double twice potentially I don't know if I need to play around that or ought to or not
that's pretty well it's probably not that harmful what hurts is I just am not gonna draw it probably Maybe I can play for a triple. That's going to be tough. He gains a duchy. This is going to be really dependent on his draw. Well, am I drawn? I feel like I should have won this one a hundred percent, so I probably botched it either by delaying greening a turn too long or something like that. Or I mean, what I did last turn was maybe just kind of stupid. Um, yeah, it just depended on. It would have really helped here to have the enchantress, possibly. Um. Well, we're not going to use more than one Artificer ability, so this is fine here. The thing about the gaining the Tragic Hero is it's just too many cards out of hand. <laughs> like, And then there's no guarantee at all that I'll have the cash when I, after I draw and play it. So I don't have to technically decide yet. So what do I have in deck though? There's a gold. I have five bakers. I think I have six or seven artificers. Um... Well, there's the turn where I played everything, right? Here's a turn where I played everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six artificers. So there's one more still in there. <coughs> Artificer gold, copper. And I'm at fifteen dollars and I need to be at twenty four. <laughs> Sixteen seventeen. Twenty win. Twenty two. Cause I'm gonna discard one copper. And then I have to draw I would have to I really needed to cantrip the enchantress, I think. Well, uh, <coughs> it's not super clear to me. Um, I now have a silver and a gold and a copper, so I can maybe get enough fairgrounds here to do something. Um, top decking fairground sucks. I think there's a draw a, where I stack the deck and I win, but I. We need like star chart or something so that I can draw the silver up. Because I'm 15, 16, 17. There's another. There's two bakers in there? No, there's a baker. Maybe there's not a copper. What did I play last time? Two coppers, two golds. One of the golds got trash. On his turn. <coughs> Six artificers. 
One, two, three, four, five bakers. Baker, Artificer, Copper, Gold. So I get one, two, three, four more dollars. Seven, nineteen. Maybe I already counted this. Twenty-two. <coughs> I have to draw a copper or a silver off the tragic hero. <laughs> also, that takes a card away, so it doesn't quite work out the same. And in fact, it doesn't even work at all, period, if one of the cantrips is bottom decked. It just simply, simply does not work in that case. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I'm in a work count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, I am at roughly ten for the fairground, so I can get there. I can add a beggar or something. I wonder if beggar helps this situation. No, <laughs> it doesn't. The issue here is like he provinces or he province duchies with the ability to, to do it next time. <coughs> Beggar would help with the fair round stuff the following turn, I guess. Um, this is stupid. I can't even really get the fairground. I mean, I can buy them, but. Um, can also leave something top decked, copper or gold. 17, 19. Get the tragic hero. Play this. Get the tragic hero. Draw the tragic hero. Play it. Hope you draw a money. <laughs> you have to have the silver and the gold. You have to, have to draw the silver. Or two coppers off two cards. So you get two cards because one card is the gold. Um, I guess you have to draw either the copper or the silver. It would have really helped to cantrip the enchantress just so there were fewer junk things in the more money things in the discard and fewer junk things. Um, then it would have been. pretty close to guaranteed not not quite but pretty close um <laughs> cuz it would have been just the three junk or the five junk and then three cards so you still could just totally whiff it uh, this is so bad What isn't totally clear to me is whether we want to use this thing to put some junk thing on top that we just enchantress away if he hits the enchantress. Like a ironworks or something. Well, it would be uh, another enchantress, I guess. Or it could be the beggar already. Or an estate. I ain't got a top deck in estate. That's dumb. <clears throat> yeah, 
He's got to be super annoying. 21. He may not play vampire, though. I think I just wait on it. Change my mind. It was so funny how, I mean, I was really quite close to getting four or to getting the triple. Um, I don't think this is actually do I want to trash both I think I do right I can always gain a copper in whatever ways uh, let's see if he lets me I'm just stupid. I mean, probably he just doubles, right? And I, there's like no world where I score enough. <laughs> I mean, the, th the thing is that I secretly have 18 points, right? So it's not all completely bad. What's going to be bad is if he... Uh, um, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine. Yeah, I'm just one away. If I gain a copper, I, I didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, if I get a copper at some point. So, like, beggar in and of itself does it. Um, I'm not. I'm not in that bad of a spot, depending on how he draws here. Double province duchy. I don't know if I can do that. Depends on what the depends on what the vampire hits do, like his and mine. I'm fine if he doesn't take any provinces though, because I will be able to triple, I'm pretty sure. Unless he hits me with discard attack, then it's not guaranteed. Um, I guess it's not really guaranteed, period, but it's pretty likely. It really is going to depend on how the attacks go here. Like whether he draws the enchantress, whether he draws the vampire, etc. His fairgrounds might already be worth ten. They should, or yeah, they, he should already have ten uniques. So he can do those. Not that um, he can gain a whole lot of them, but he could gain two pretty easily, and maybe three. 
That just doesn't defend against trouble province, though. Here, I don't think I played better than him at all. I just think I had first player, and I had, a, I think the five two is better here. And then, um, the rest of it, I'm I'm not convinced at all that I did the clean thing in the greening phase. So he didn't get the enchantress, which means he probably has the vampire. He's got at least some knight in there because of the, just otherwise he wouldn't have deaded so soon. <coughs> Single province is like really bad for him, I think. And province fairgrounds, I think, is also not going to be very good for him. Unless his locusts are, are, sorry, his attack, unless his attack is really brutal. Um, I don't know which hexes are left, to be honest. I guess a bunch, so. Um. I mean, best thing for me would be, like, probably, like, Plague, but Plague would be okay, I think. I think, I, I don't think the single point will, will make the difference. Envious sucks. <laughs> like, Envious seriously, seriously sucks. Because now it's, like, basically impossible for me to triple province maybe well i mean that's not true i get to 21 i just have to have what what's actually important for me to do it is for me to have bottom decked treasure but i have what i don't even know if i have the treasure <clears throat> i guess i can put them on the top of the deck at the end as well with artificers. Yeah, maybe I can do that. So I'm going to get up to 21. Maybe I can manage this. I'm actually not guaranteed at all to get to 21. Envious sucks. That's just brutal. On the other hand, we can sort of reset to um, that sucks so bad. I'm super mad now. <laughs> it's like I would already have sixteen twenty one in hand. Um, obviously, I got to sack some of it to get the tragic hero, but man, that sucks so bad. <clears throat> I mean, I can score a lot. Maybe I can double safely if I also... <clears throat> he didn't play Enchantress, so his hand is going to be pretty bad. Um, I'm the only one with a Vampire... Maybe I'm okay. I guess I can always just delay longer. Like I can just get fairgrounds and a duchy and just wait it out more since I have um, yeah I also didn't draw all the bakers yet so that hurts a little bit yeah so like if i had 10 13 yeah i would just it wouldn't quite work with my hand as it is but <clears throat> there's all the artificers so there is still open question of top decking something, but we're gonna play the enchantress, so I'm not gonna do that. 
We did bottom deck the um <clears throat> we did bottom deck the thingy the vampire maybe there was some guaranteed finish for me at the end there we also made a bunch of coffers so that's pretty good um he can't triple fairgrounds, right? No, I probably do need to play around that. <coughs> because... Well, no, not with this hand size, right? He can't possibly triple fairgrounds. He doesn't have Enchantress down. So... He's gonna... He can at best like double province duchy or double fairgrounds duchy and that's only if he discards everything with an artificer at, as his last play which doesn't seem all that likely so I don't need to play around that and then next turn I don't have to worry about envious um, but it still might be better to have the token I know for sure I'm getting the duchy um and I'm not guaranteed to draw as much, so that makes it harder. But at the other on the other hand, if I don't have the points I may be in trouble catching him if he double provinces or something. This could go badly. I guess I can he triple by doing tragic hero? No, no, no. He didn't have the draw. He didn't have the extra draw. So I don't have to play around that. This is not the best starting hand but <clears throat> and of course I have secretly four more points no 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 better than that secretly eight more points we hope He's not vampiring me. He's kind of stuck. Like, he basically has to just double province now if he can. But otherwise, anything he scores, I can just kind of lower stuff. Gets to 36. I can beat that. I can beat that with what I have in hand. In fact, what he pretty much knows I have in hand, too. Double, double fairgrounds, I can beat that. He just passes, but it doesn't really. Um, help him all that much. I can just triple fairgrounds. <clears throat> I think it's. Um. Just straight up guaranteed, right? I just 
just need to gain gain whatever junk. One, two, three, four, five. Well, but yeah. Now I need to count though. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I gain the thing, I, I mean, I can also gain a curse, and it's. Um, still totally guaranteed I even got another miserable off of it. Yeah, I got nervous in the middle there, though I probably shouldn't have because I just had more stuff, like considerably more stuff. Um, so if I waited for, and I think I did get better draws than him there at the end, but the because uh, I was hitting most of my cantrips. But the <clears throat> in the long game, I guess I'm probably beating him almost all the time. We may have messed up like Baker token management there for someone to do a better job of preserving uh, triple province threat. I mean, I could, it would not surprise me if someone were to tell me that I botched that up. But this is just like Delve Gardens, I think. Um, <clears throat> there's not really. There's not really much else to go for, I don't think. Um, you probably open Delve Courtyard. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be probably sort of a nightmare. <laughs> I don't mind these games. It's just going to be... Um, I mean, there's not anything else, right? At some point, you wonder. You probably at some point you probably add a nomad camp, but yeah. I, I mean, I'm worried again about going into. I I don't know if I want the church. I'm worried again about going into the um slop while he maybe builds something with. I mean, he's not gonna build, but you you know what I mean. Have a little more of the board played and then be me. <clears throat> but I think I just want another silver. This is kind of bad. I'm going to do another Delve Courtyard. <clears throat> We're not going to finish in time to for me to talk with Honda. That's pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this game shouldn't take long. He gets a treasure. <clears throat> treasure should be okay here. I mean, treasure should be quite quite nice actually. But I mean, the idea here is just that you get gardens, and then you also will be competing on province. We actually played a few months back. Like I played a board that was sort of like this with Sam, like a whole bunch, for whatever reason, <laughs> and he beat me pretty solidly with the with the gardens thing. Well, it was close. I wouldn't say that's all, but but it was like clearly if they did certain things, I I don't remember what those things were. So, but there were like certain ways to play it that like made it clear that you could win with doing it. I wonder if I should compete on the treasure. Um, like the key would be pretty useful. 
You can go pretty high on courtyards. Collision isn't a big deal. I guess the only big deal is whether you think um, <clears throat> triple collision, of course, can be problematic, but double is not. He gets a canal now. Like here, this is a little sad, but what can you do? I guess I do need to consider the nomad camp. He does a raider, who cares? I'm up to quite a lot of cards. <clears throat> There's no alt VP here but gardens. You're not like, as long as I can province and um, buy gardens, it just doesn't matter. I think, I hope. Canal would be bonkers to feel like lower the cost of everything. A lot of the cost reduction stuff, if it did work on landscape things, would just just break the game. Cost reduction already very, very good. I mean, some of it, I think, just straight up breaks the game, but <laughs> some of it would just be very, very good. He's going for No Man Camp now. Top deck is silver. I didn't, I didn't want the world to know that. JK, I didn't care. Alright, let's see the gardens. Three pointers. Since he's not going to double province, it doesn't really matter. I expect I go over four this turn. I don't remember what the conclusion from when we played it a bunch of times, like when you're supposed to just empty silvers versus getting green or not. I don't actually remember if it was gardens or if it was like, well, it wouldn't have been Fiat. That would have been too straightforwardly good, I think. I don't think it possibly was Fiat. I'm pretty sure it was gardens. <coughs> My, my contention was basically that you should go, um, I mean, he can compete on those if he wants, I don't care. I think my contention at the time was that, um... You could do delve money into provinces and it would beat the gardens. But it turned out that that was not really the case. I mean, the issue, the big issue was just that the person who 
the person who had gardens didn't end up really missing out on provinces, hardly at all. There's maybe something else going on, like Guildhall or something. I'm not really sure. So he's going to build back up now. Um, the hope, of course, is just that that is maybe a little too late. Shuffle last turn. I guess he hasn't really trashed that much. So. I don't want to give him the. I think he might have his nomad camp, and I don't really want to give him the double gardens. If he double provinces at some point, that could be problematic, which he think he probably can do here. I don't know. Did he play his treasurer recently? It's hard to know. He may be able to double here, though he'll have to... Um, well, I would have rather had the silver in hand. I guess not, if he's going to... He didn't quite get to double, so that's good. My hope here, of course, is just that I keep up with the provinces. I mean, there's not a lot other, a lot else I can do. Um, I'm pretty much at the whims. <coughs> I was hoping to have more of a points lead than, than this when it came down to the wire, but. Nothing we can do about it now. Okay, except we can count cards. So we're at 47. <coughs> I don't know what the garden split ended up being, if it was just four. I think it just ended up being four. Um, he's quite a ways away from another thing. Um... I would have liked to get seven. <laughs> <coughs> of course. There's not going to be a three pile. I mean, I can triple delve. Um, and I'll have the gardens up now. Or I can wait. So now I should be two away, and he's not really making grounds. Though if he empties the silvers, it becomes harder for me. I can basically duchy dance, which I think is what I want to do. <sighs> 
So I think he's got his Raider down in here too. So it might have been better. <laughs> it might have been better to go for it. I think if I had been doing good deck tracking. Well, no, I don't know what he has. Um. I guess it's nice for me to take the delves so that he doesn't have as easy a time getting his guards up though. <coughs> I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for it after he played a church. The problem is eventually he plays a raider and maybe takes me down that way. I mean we can also just empty duchies, right? That's a possibility. Um, his, his outs are like double province, um, I guess double duchy is also an out for him. Maybe the duchy thing didn't make sense because I was just going to get stuck in a war I can't win. That was probably really stupid, wasn't it? Like at some point I have to break And now I'm likely to have to break it when he's playing a raider or something, like, and I won't be able to. Um, the real question is, where's the nomad camp? Um, okay, he didn't play raider. He didn't. He top decked something. Um. I gotta find his cards. I gotta find his shuffle first. Okay, there was a shuffle. Okay, the treasure is gone. He played a church. So the nomad camp is in here. Um, and probably a bunch of silvers. <laughs> I can't buy, I mean, I'm not going to buy the duchy, right? That's just losing. So I just have to go for it. And probably he just has it in hand with like Nomad Camp, three silvers or something. Oh, it's that canal. Yeah, he just needs three silvers. <coughs> so he gets that one. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, it, felt, it feels like I should play with more of the board, but I don't know where to slot it in, like a canal, or a, nomad camp, <clears throat> and of course I could have just greened differently, I could have gotten provinces earlier, I could have. Um, what am I trying to say? At the end there, of course, there are different times when I could go for a province versus duchy and whatnot. But at the end of it all, it's just sort of a crapshoot of what his deck is the next turn, and I don't have a real good way to figure what that, out what that is. Um, I mean, you can do leprechaun stuff. You can do... <coughs> Big Herald stuff, hunting party artifice, or all that jazz, merging guild. <coughs> Leprechaun, maybe you don't do. Goes pretty good with some other stuff here, like Stonemason. I mean, we're gonna three pile. This is gonna for sure pile. Um, 
You have to hit five somehow? I mean, you can open five, I guess? That would be pretty useful here. <coughs> so I guess I'm going to do Lookout Silver, though I can see other things. Oh. So we mirrored, but I got the bad lookout. It's really sad, actually, because otherwise I had a good shot at hitting five, and now I have no shot at hitting five. <coughs> That's depressing. Okay, so do you want second lookout? You probably do. And I guess I'll just go ahead and buy a Herald. Like, what else? Um... This is going to do Lookout Herald Silver. <coughs> um, I think I want to hit five, so that means... That's kind of a bad shuffle, though. Um... That's kind of a bad shuffle. I can get five, but that involves playing the Herald. Um, unless it hits a lookout, it's going to be kind of a bad shuffle. I guess it's not that long of a shuffle with all the lookout playing. I think it's better to get the five. <coughs> And there's, of course, a chance for some really nice upside. Which we got. Um, this can either be a merchant guild or one of the other things. <laughs> Just an incredible insight. I'm going to do the merchant guild. Uh, this will be another herald. Hopefully, this lookout. I mean, we're getting we're getting close to the point where your lookouts are potentially sad. <coughs> it might have been better to do the. Yeah, <laughs> this is. Well, what can you do? Losing a haven is. Well, this board actually kind of sucks. <laughs> I would say it's not the worst. I mean, mainly it's just the opportunity cost of not getting to trash something you want to actually trash. I would say is the bigger um, drawback here. <coughs> He's definitely ahead on the Herald stuff. I think my last card's a silver. No, I discarded the silver. <clears throat> I think the last card is a copper. I mean, he's just buying heralds, though, so that's not the scariest thing in the world. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Um, I mean, it's just going to reveal a copper. So, it's fine.
I'll definitely trash look out if I get another look out. This is looking to be a stonemason overpay if I draw well enough here. If we can get to seven, that would be fantastic. But even six would be okay. I'd probably go for a leprechaun soonish. He's got enough draw here, he'll have he'll have five finally for him. Um my uh fortunately just five, so I assume he might go leprechaun. He goes artificer. Yeah, artificer's pretty good too, with the heralds. Um This doesn't matter a whole lot. Oh, I got confused there, but whatever. Um, how many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not impossible. It's just kind of hard to activate. The... I have three heralds. That's not a great amount of heralds. I could double. I wish I had nine dollars. I don't mind just having four, but like having <clears throat> having only Two or having only three is not ideal. Um, Not ideal. So he potentially can empty those this turn. He's going for the lap. <clears throat> he got one, two, three, four, five, six. He got too many. He got too many. I'll have to look out for Leprechaun gain as well. I don't have as much risk of <laughs> having my heralds be too good. <coughs> I don't really have any risk of that. <laughs> I mean, there are some sequences where it could happen to me, but right now it's not really a threat or a problem. What did I get, a hunting party? That seems okay. For some reason, I thought I had ended up getting the... Yeah, well, he got famine at least, so it didn't hurt him at all. Um... He's just going to buy another hair, I assume. All right, so I can deal with four, four, six, which I can, I can gar certainly um, guarantee doing here. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. How many coppers did I have last time? Four, so there's definitely many down there Ow. um <clears throat> i can activate a 
leprechaun for sure. In fact, it's like three coppers, silver, and a little haven, and a haven. So, it's interesting. I'm not sure if this is the right. Order. So if Haven's second card, there's probably a way to play this such that this is in some way guaranteed. But I don't know what it is. I'm going to four. I guess there's a way it can end up being not workable. Maybe I should, I don't think it mattered. I don't think it mattered. I don't know that this is the right play either. So the bottom card's Haven. So now I can't. Well, but I already have one, two, three, four, five. It's not as bad as his, for sure. Or uh, as unfortunate, I should say. Um, ooh, this is a rough... This shuffle didn't have to be like that. I mean, I didn't trigger it. It's not like I triggered it with all the coppers in the... All that was there was the Haven and another copper, I guess. The other, the other draws here were just junk. Just garbage. Hopefully he has three good things. I already had to trash a haven. He should have to trash something he likes. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. He's just under under payloaded right now. He can catch up pretty quick, but right now he is certainly under payloaded. And like this isn't really the sequence you want exactly. Um, it's overdrawing by one, and then that it's a lot of the heralds. So now he wants to do an artificer to gain something, um, but he can't. He can't gain and draw and play a leprechaun activated. Um, he could gain a stonemason and a uh, stonemason of gold. That's probably what I would do if I were him. I mean, the alternative is just to buy a, like, gain a haven and then, like, overpay and buy a couple fives. I don't know if he has some money for that, though. I mean, he has a herald in hand. He has another lookout in hand. Um, I mean, this seems like a reasonable buy. I think he probably gets better control if he goes with hunting parties. But This, of course, was a complete garbage draw from Garbage Town. I think I would rather have the drawn deck. I'm not 
too opposed to start my greening if I can get them down on the turn I gain them I'm gonna play the hunting party first of course <clears throat> I may run into an issue well this, is, this looks all fine to be honest this is a good hand Last hand sucked. I don't know if the hunting parties were right or one should be an artifice. I, I think I like the hunting parties. There's no way I'm going to make use of double on the artificer ability. And so just having draw versus coin seems definitely better to me. <coughs> I mean, the, the main thing that you can kind of pick up for free are havens, which are certainly help the deck. Um... And well, they could get in the, they could muck with the leprechaun, so it's not clear. I'm definitely the bad thing here is I'm probably gonna discard quite some herald on a hunting party play. Good news is I can gain a crap ton of hunting parties this turn, which I will do, as well as some artificers. I don't know if I'll get the second guild. It depends on where the actions are. Obviously, if like the second card is Leprechaun, I don't want to play the Herald, but there are a lot of other shuffles where playing the herald first could be beneficial um, I'm actually quite surprised he's not getting more draw <coughs> like he's almost all done payload for beyond his six heralds the artificers are kind of a mix but yeah, I mean, I'm like surprised he didn't double hunting party there, but does he not have a lookout? He must have a lookout, right? I'm just missing something. Is he just like maybe discarded it? I'm surprised he hasn't been trying to play it, but maybe I'm confused. We each got two. I had to trash one, or I chose to trash one at one point. But yeah, I mean, those look like pretty good buys. Um, I mean, this is going to toss a bunch of heralds. Okay, it didn't toss too many. This was actually perfect as far as draws go. Um, really, the only thing I would get would be a. Haven. I think the last card is a Herald. One, two, three, four, five. So I can wish for a hunting party. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, there's a few gold, or a few cobbers down in here. I don't know that there's any, well, there's still, uh, there's still hunting parties, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. When do I play the lookout? That's pretty good. I am into this. I guess I should technically be looking for three piles already. <laughs> I 
maybe prior to even playing the lookout. Though I wouldn't have been able to set this quite up. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to score. We can certainly empty the hunting parties and most of the... So the options here are like... Get another terminal. I mean, I can play Distant Lance. That's pretty good. I wouldn't hate doing that. And then I can probably lower a little bit. There's probably some risk of him just outright winning, depending on what I score. But if I take, say, a province, it's pretty good for for not losing right away. And of course a province is a <clears throat> like a reasonably good stonemason target as well. <clears throat> this could go belly up this this particular hand that I have here. His turn could go belly up too though. I'm really shocked that he didn't try to trash any coppers any of his last turns because there's like no way there's like no way he didn't have well not quite no way but it seems extremely likely that there was some way in which he could have done it but maybe it just wasn't worth it versus the other stuff he thought he ought to be doing. Um, it's hard to say. This is a bad starting hand for me, for sure. Um, <clears throat> he already has a golden hand, so it's it's totally fine. Um. Him lowering the hunting parties would suggest he's going to go for a finish. Which is not out of range at all for him. I wouldn't say. I mean, my other options for gains there at the end there would have been like an uh, artificer instead of double hunting, grant, hunting parties. Um, I would not be surprised if he just wins here. Um, but if he doesn't, he needs to score quite a bit. Like, he needs to pass me, but probably he can just win. He certainly has the gains. I mean, he's... It, it, his heralds, though, have to hit actions, so he still has the treasure in hand that can make this miss. So Artificer gain doesn't look as scary from the perspective of him ending it anyway. Like this here, every time this happens, it makes the likelihood of a finish go, just go way down, to be honest. Um, so I feel fine now, except that my hand sucks. Um, that's the thing I feel not fine about now. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I don't feel like he'll finish. 
Um, he already played his wishes, and he, um, he already played his stonemason. <clears throat> He's not getting a wish this time. So there's like no way. I, and it maybe would have taken stacking from the very start to even have a shot. Um, after this game, we're going to switch over and I'm going to talk on the Naismith Marcus playoff with Honda. So we're just going to play four games today. Um,. So I'll be happy if I can get out of this with a tie. It's just kind of, I'm just going to live or die by this hunting party. Because <laughs> there's still a lot of unique stops in the deck. There's, I have a gold, silver, copper yet to draw. Um, maybe that's it. Look out, look out too. So there's still a lot of unique stops. <coughs> so all it, take, all it takes here is top decking a couple of those. Or even one of them with a cantr, you know. The artificers and the heralds aren't necessarily draw. I have a lot of hunting parties, but <clears throat> um, if he's a stream sniper, he'll play for a dud. Actually, I think he probably plays for a dud regardless. At least he lowered stuff so much that at this point from his perspective I think it makes sense to play for a dud um, I don't know if it made sense to do it from the very start of the turn but at this point it seems to be pretty reasonable this time he trashed his coppers um, I don't know if he'll have enough to province. I mean, like if he's playing for a dud, he should buy the hunting party, to be honest. I think. There are, of course, degrees of duds, so it's not always clear cut, but I think if you're like convince yourself that you need me to have like a no zero turn, I think you buy hunting party over distant lands. But. Um, or like the havens also I have these havens that don't really do that much for me okay um, okay 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 Whew. all right <clears throat> it's actually not clear to me whether I play the look at or not because it's good it's a good stonemason target if I look for the haven pile out I'm actually not very far from just a straight up pile out in hand um, so I think I'm going to play on that did not work out though Okay, we're probably not going to kill the... Oh wait, maybe it is in hand with province, because I can go duchy. Estate. I don't quite have the actions for it. No, I know it works. I just need $4, right? So I can do Stonemason Lookout for two havens. Stonemason province for duchy hunting party. High stone mason, I have four dollars. That's not enough. I have to artificer as well. Which I don't know if I have the cards for that. I think I do. I have I think I have exactly the cards for it. But I need to set aside this guy.
Haven gained two havens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This works. Just barely. Because he lowered. And I guess the hunting party would have made it even easier. Yeah, so this is certainly a case of there are duds and there are duds. Okay, I'll take it. Um, if he had bought a duchy, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Though I would have played the turn differently. I would have had to maybe play the lookout sooner or go higher. All right. All right, thanks for watching this one. Then we're going to shift over to the other one. Uh, so I'm going to stop this video. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening on Discord, but I'll keep talking on Discord. So uh, bye to YouTube.